Good morning. Intro before the intro. I'm sitting in the 188 X Type X, and it's come to my attention it's Black Friday, and I've got to do something for Black Friday, but just discounting things don't make sense because the entries are based off of how much money you spend. So if you discount, you actually get screwed out of entries. So I've come up with a solution. For every 100 comments this video gets, we're going to do a 1x multiplier for all of week one. That back dates us to Sunday and forward dates us to two days from now at midnight. So it'll go from Sunday to Sunday. Week one multiplier will be based off of how many comments this video gets by Sunday at midnight. So you won't really know. Um, but with that being said, every 100 comments is a multiplier 1x. My average videos get between three and 500, which means this video should, at the very least, if it gets its normal views and normal comments, get a 3x multiplier all the way up to a 5x. If we get 1,000 comments, we can get 10x. And that those multipliers are also stackable. So if you are a VIP monthly or yearly, you will get the extra entries based off that. So let's get this video. Uh, hella comments. Funniest comment picked by me will receive a free merch pack. So a couple incentives to... to comment i'll read every single comment and at sunday at midnight we'll count the comments and that'll be the multiplier for week one it's your little black friday special let's get on with the video actually should we show them the last piece yeah this dude was on me about getting these said i needed them i needed them i needed them and i had to get oem we found them in, the, in somebody's basement in japan they weren't in perfect shape but we got, them cleaned up. we got them cleaned up they look good so this is the rear balance these are the two rear spats. So TJ entrusted me with a large sum of money and I, and I scammed him. <laughs> now that opens inward. So I built a different car with your money. Oh, come, come, I need to know what you think about her. Okay. Wait, hold on. This, I can't believe this is the same piece of shit that I almost <laughs> bought like a year and a half ago. Yeah. You almost pawned this off for some cheap money. This thing looks sick, doesn't yeah, it? this thing looks a million times better. This is what I wanted to do with it. Is it for sale now? No, no, no. We're giving it away. That thing is tight. I think it's, it's sick. So TJ entrusted me with a large sum of money and I ended up buying a 186 and building it instead of doing what he wanted. I've been keeping it under wraps and not showing him, but... What where's do you... All, where's all of our cool shit? Okay, hold on. I want to pop the hood first. Oh, I didn't walk. Because you just did... Hey, easy. You just did a uh, 240, so you're the 240 guy. Yeah. So I wanna, I wanna know, I wanna know what you think. It's not quite done yet. Oh wow, it's pretty. Whoa, it looks very, it looks very like stock. It's like no, no, like it's stock, but like it's not stock. Well, it looks like the treatment you do on the RBs. Yeah, exactly. That's try great. to apply it to the 240 game. I like the cover. That's super rad. What manifold is this? Gretty. We just didn't put the sticker on yet. Dude, that thing is fucking clean. Wow. Yeah, we repainted the whole car in April. We started long ass process, but we were doing it like on the side. Wow. And you oh, were no. you were not giving me money quick enough, so yeah, I couldn't so finish <laughs> the build. Wow. So do some plumbing, and she'll be started well, on I a hall tech. That it's like. I don't know. It's the, I mean, it's the same treatment you get when you come here and you do like an R26 inside the GCR. Yeah. Like, it's, but it's like an Econo box this time. It is. Like this thing was not rough, but dusty. I mean, yeah. It wasn't rough. It was just like it needed a lot of love. Which is yeah. why I was like, dude, it's, per it's the perfect car to like re to save. You see the brakes we did, Grant? We did the 33 GTST. Yeah, I, so I don't know if Josh told you. I called him yesterday or the other day and I'm like, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> He's like, what do you need? I was like, uh, how do I do a U-joint? <laughs> he's like, you do this, this, this. And he's like, oh, we're putting R33 brakes on the... So, as of yesterday, he should have gotten the handbrake to work. And it does. So that's sick. Hell Just got to tighten it up a little bit. Z32? No, so we did 33 GTST, but it's the same. These are 33 GTST front and rear brakes. Use the e-brake. We powder coated them, rebuilt Wait, them. They're Z32 brakes, right? They're uh, a little different because with a Z32 as an older casting, it looks bigger. yeah, it's just like a little smoother and like puffier. So yeah. the other ones are like more, lines. yeah, yeah, yeah. So 33, they like it's like kind of like S15. I mean, what are GTRSs? Do those? That's Yuri's RB30. GTRSs are like 800 horsepower twins. Oh, so anyway. 
Uh, Josh did the e-brake yesterday. Brakes are on. We're waiting for brake lines. Intake, hall tech, wiring harness. That's way better. Thank you for holding. Open by appointment only. Every time she says that, I'm thinking it's time. Please visit our website. Fuck gives a fuck about the driver. Pop, 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 push it. Fucking thing caught me. I'm not holding that side, just so you know. Unless you want me to. Okay, I am. Because you didn't answer me quick enough. Jesus Christ, this fucking Russian can't push the clips. Nah, dude, it's just like not super lined up. Nice. It's that not kneel pad, knee pad, dude. Kneel. I know pad. you're fucking Russian. Come on, put it in. Kneel pad ones. for your fucking activity. It's knee user. pad. They're called knee pads. They're not kneel pads. A kneel pad. That's a fucking ism. It's a pad that you fucking kneel on. And a knee pad is a pad you fucking knee on. Alright, so where are your knee pads at? Which, where's the hole? I'm just winging it. Yeah, right there. Thank you for holding. Your call is important to us. Please continue to hold for the next available agent. Our online services are growing. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. What are you trying to do? That ain't all. That ain't all. Damn, that looks sick. I can't wait to get this on the ground. Josh has been doing the brakes, which you guys are watching. I didn't think I needed it until we put the car together. You just watch go on. Uh, the rear spats and rear valance make the rear just not look derpy as hell. So we've got the skirts. We got the front bumper. We got the skirts. And then we've got the spats. These are the spats installed beautifully. And then this is the valance. We'll see, you'll see it better when it's not up in the air, but uh, it just follows the body lines and makes it look so much better. Thought I'd get away without buying them. They're actually really hard to find in good condition. Um, but I got lucky, what was that, like two weeks ago? Piotr? Two or three weeks ago, I found them. They looked pretty good and they, and they weren't bad, so. Uh, everything fits nicely. Little gap here, which I've seen factory ones on cars doing that. Um, but everything else looks fucking perfect. So, I can't wait to get this on the ground. Josh has been doing the brakes, which you guys are watching. Uh, front brake. Is that done? Mm -hmm. yep. I'll show you the brakes that we end up going with. We powder coated a set of 33 GTST brakes, uh, months ago. Yeah, that's forever ago. Uh, took them apart, sandblast them, powder them, rebuilt them. These are GTR rotors, dang, and uh, brand new Sumitumo, they're just GTST brakes, they look a lot better, Little, they're like uh, S15 brakes, but then the rear is even better than S15 brake, the rear is the same matching caliper, I think it's a two piston, uh, the wrap, is it all wrapped, yeah it's all wrapped, but matching, kind of like 300GX brakes, anyway, I'm stoked, so there's the wheel with the brakes, so we upgraded the brakes, upgraded the coilovers, upgraded the wheels, redid the Type X stuff, like this car. It's a, it's a pretty extensive resto. We freshened up the engine, timing chain, oil pump, did all that. So this car is ready for another 25 years, I think. What do you think, Josh? I hope so. Good for another 25 years? Yeah, don't crash it. So, anyway, uh, we'll get it back on the ground, and I'll show you those balances, but I just can't, I can't contain myself. I had to, had to film it. And then it's like the next family guy, it's like Peter and Stewie. And then the next scene, Peter's like all pissed and shit. <laughs> I'm sure hasn't been funny in that time.
Okay, so as you just saw, the spats and valance are currently on and we haven't taken a shot. I haven't shown you guys the car from that angle yet. It's crazy how much it cleared it up and, and fixed it and made it look prettier. Here it is with the spats and the rear valance installed. It just does so much. We also put the lug nuts on, which I don't love. Uh, I wish, I guess I wish I went black. In the rear, they stick out kind of in the front. We've got extended studs, so they sit further in. But um, the spats are huge. They're so important for the rear of this car. Anyway, up next, getting this thing dialed in the bay, getting it to run. Um, brakes are on. We're having a slight issue with the e-brake. The reason when I pulled it up, it's the adjustment kind of sucks. So we looked at some products and I found a product that should fix that. We'll address that in the next video or the video after. Um, but like I said, this video is about the spats and the valance and God damn, did they turn out good? Anyway, this is the first week. The multiplier is live for this video. Every 100 comments is a 1x multiplier. I usually average between three and 500 comments. So with that being said, if this just gets average comments, we're getting 5x, three, between three and 5x um, for the whole week. The week ends Sunday at midnight. So if you are entering, comment. The funniest comment about this video will win a free merch pack. That's how we're gonna play this. So this goes from last Sunday until this weekend, Sunday at midnight. Get excited, drop some comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one.